Hi everyone, my name is Talia and welcome to another 12 days of anime video. Now today I will talk about manga and this year I read a lot of manga for me a lot so that's maybe like what 10 to 15 manga but still most of them I'm still reading or I haven't finished yet or are still publishing so I will list you the ones that I really liked and that I read this year and then I will tell you my favorites of them. So mostly my favorites will be the ones that I did finish or that I'm pretty far at. So the ones that I've read this year, obviously Bakuman because I got this, The I got the manga at October or something like that. And then we have of course Nanatsu no Taizai, Ooh, books. Nanatsu no Taizai, Seven Deadly Sins that I'm pretty far at right now and then we also have God, I'm just gonna get my whole <laughs> manga collection out We have Claymore as well I'm not too far into Claymore yet, although people think I am But I did see the anime so I saw everything and then I was just excited to know what was going to happen next but I'm not at that part yet in the manga so I don't know what happens after the anime yet and mostly because I'm just reading too much at the moment and I can't really go from one manga to another I always focus on one I read that for a while and then I switch over to another one that's also why my Bakemon reviews take that long because I read a lot of Nanatsu no Taizai lately and yeah that's what happened so we have those three already then we also have attack on titan which i'm not gonna get because otherwise i think i'm my all my books are gonna fall probably so that's not good <laughs> so now Tsuno taizai attack on titan we also have one punch man all you need is skill um harumatsu bokura uh, Noragami, Onani Master Kurosawa, Seven Days, Tensha Utoku. Um, let's see if I'm saying something. Oh, yeah, Boku no Hero Academia. Um, <laughs> but I'll, I'm still at like the first five chapters. I have not had time yet to read more, and I really need to get on that because apparently it gets really good. And my favorites out of those are one. Well, that this, it, this is not a top five or ten or whatever this is just the ones that i really enjoyed one is all you need is skill i finished that one pretty fast and i was also reading it while it was still publishing so yeah whenever a new one came out i really wanted to read it it's also a short series so i do recommend you reading this one it's very exciting as well then second one that i really liked is nanatsu no taizai seven deadly sins couldn't get enough of that once I started reading, I just kept on reading and reading. I still need to catch up. I'm not too far from where they are now, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's just very exciting, better than the anime, and it's just awesome. I really like the characters and how the story is going, especially that. Um, another one, so third one, One Punch Man. This one is just my favorite comedy manga, I would say. that. That comedy is so good and just the animation, how they handle it with the comedy is awesome and the main character, how can you not love him? He's just badass and he's funny and he doesn't really realize it, it's just awesome. So One Punch Man for good comedy, sarcastic comedy, dry comedy, all of that, just check that out. And then fourth one is Attack on Titan. I actually started reading it this year, so Attack on Titan I never read when I saw the anime and then I decided this year to just go and read it and I'm really happy that I did because I just I couldn't wait for like a second season or anything so I just started reading the manga and yeah it's very exciting I'm really liking it and it makes me miss the anime so I would say in some aspects that the manga is better and then you have some other points where the anime is better but I might go into that in another video because that's not for today. So we have Attack on Titan as well. After that, <laughs> number five is Unani Master Kurosawa. I never thought I would like this manga this much <laughs> just because of like the concept and what it is about and how it is all going down. If people know what manga this is, you know what I'm talking about. I will leave a link in the description or no, I will just leave like the 
all of the manga that I mentioned because I don't want to spoil anything. People will probably guess already that this one isn't my favorite. For me, it's very funny, but it's so so you will you will also have a lot of feels in this manga for sure. So it's like romance. Comedy is not really a genre, but for me, it's it's just funny. <laughs> Some situations and slice of life kind of i guess it yeah something like that so yeah onani master kurosawa and then the last one is densha otoko and that is just a must i'm gonna say watch as well because the drama is very good so it's a must watch and read because it's a very popular like romance story about like an otaku falling in love with a normal girl and it's just very cheesy but it's so lovely and it's really exciting as well. I read it in one day because I really wanted to know what was going to happen. I really do recommend you reading Densho Toko as well. So yeah, those are the ones that I enjoyed from this year. Let me know your favorite manga in the comments. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll give it a thumbs up. If you did, you can also go like my Facebook page if you want. And thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.